Well, this morning I'm sitting down with Jim Pemberton at Pemberton's in McKeesport, Pennsylvania, in Jim's classroom. And Jim, we're going to talk a little bit about training. I know six months ago or so, you had mentioned uh, how you're going to, to change your training model That's for right. yourself and what you do in the industry. How's that going? I've really enjoyed it, Jeff. I've been a part of uh, training through uh, the more current training models, you might say, mm -hmm. for about 30 years. And I really thought I wanted to try something different. I saw a need for uh, having a, a more total training program than simply the classroom style. And I was fortunate enough to be able to partner with Lisa Wagner, who has the same vision for this type of training. So with what we now call our textile pro rug training and fine fabric training program, we're, we've enabled uh, our students, the people that work with us, to learn online many of those things that really in the past were learned in the classroom so that we can have intensive hands-on training for a few days and give, give the students really a chance to work from beginning to end through both the rug cleaning process and of course my favorite part the upholstery cleaning mm -hmm. process and then to have ongoing support afterward so instead of a few day class we have a six month training program and I've enjoyed doing it it's been a nice change and we're getting great feedback from the students well, that sounds exciting. I know one of your passions <clears throat> is hands-on training. Right. You like to get the students involved. And I do appreciate that because when I train in your classroom, we're doing an upholstery cleaning class today, you always provide all what we need to do some hands-on training because that's what the students really need. That's the, the biggest either complaint or observation uh, that the students generally make is that they like to have more hands-on opportunity. And that's not necessarily easy to do. And, and that's again why, why Lisa and I have liked the program we've put together mm -hmm. because the data someone needs in training in a, in a classroom setting uh, is important too. And so unless they can get that information online sooner, and sort of in a self-paced program, you can't just do a hands-on class. It's not fair, I think, to the trainers to, to put them in that position. So we think we found something that works where you can get that information long-term ahead of time, study it, really know the, the nuts and bolts or the science, uh, the textiles, things like that ahead of time, so that when you have the classroom time, it can be a supervised hands-on experience, and, and that's pretty rewarding. That's nice. Now, how's it going with that? Are you getting some good response from the industry? We some were uh, pleasantly surprised because our, our program isn't inexpensive, but uh, the, the first two classes that we held, we sold out in just a few days, and we have uh, one scheduled for Florida in March and one back here at, at our location in April, and we're, we're opening enrollments just next week, so we're happy for that and, and looking forward to it. That's nice. Now, what I see is another opportunity to learn. So we appreciate you doing this for the industry. Well, thank you, Jeff, and thanks for coming here and training for us as well. And we have to get to work. You bet. All right, thanks. Bye.